Peter Edge then. Peter, you ready? Yes, Peter. He's going on sooner than expected. Make him feel welcome. Welcome to the stage, Peter Edge. Good evening, Manchester. How are we doing? Great stuff. Everybody had a good Father's Day yesterday? Just recorded, yeah? I spent all day just feeling sorry for Luke Skywalker. You know, the poor lad never got to write a Father's Day card for 20 years. And then he meets his natural father and he cuts his arm off. He's never going to write a Father's Day card now, is he? And then every year, on the 20th of June, as if it's not painful enough, they remind him about it, don't they? I had a great, I had a great Father's Day. My, my daughters came round. I've got three girls. And it, but it's a bit hard being the only bloke in the house. I'm officially a sexual minority in my own home. I'm outnumbered five to one, because there's the three girls, and there's my wife. And God love him. Even my dog now identifies as female. Because it's just easier. You know, and I don't know if you know this, but, but when women live together, there's some strange biochemical self-defense de mechanism that kicks in and makes them form a coalition. You know, you know, like Charlie's Angels, or in my case, the Witches of Eastwick. <laughs> and it's terrible, honestly. And it was worse a few because they, they were teenagers a few years ago. I mean, not the wife, obviously. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not from St. Helens. You know. But um, it's, it, we're starting to sort of redress that imbalance with the gender because I've now got two grandsons and, and they're fantastic. They really are, two little lads. And, and the eldest one started school last year. And I don't know that if we've got any teachers in, but if you, are you familiar with the concept of that World Book Day thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not sure that my daughter has, has quite got the hang of World Book Day because she sent him in last year and, and she got this note back from school. I'll just share it with you. It says, uh, Dear Ms. Edge, Ms. Edge, very politically correct. <laughs> it's not, but her partner's Polish and they can't spell his name. <laughs> it says, Dear Ms. Edge, thank you so much for the obvious time and effort you took with Elliot's costume as we prepared to celebrate World Book Day. The false tan and dreadlocks must have taken you hours. <laughs> However, I feel duty-bound to point out that we've been reading Charles Dickens with the children this term, and we're rather hoping that Elliot's costume would represent the character of Jacob Marley. <laughs> Not, as your son so convincingly argued, his older brother, Bob. And while we encourage the use of props to bring the children's chosen characters to life, we felt that a six-inch spliff <laughs> perhaps overstepped the mark for year four. Thank you for your continued support, Mrs. Davis. Now, it's, it's, not all, it's not all bad news, because uh, my youngest daughter's getting married. She said she's getting married. And we, honestly, we couldn't be happier for it. Well, I say we couldn't be happier for it. We couldn't be happier for her until we found out how much it was going to cost. Because <laughs> what's the first thing you do as a dad? You go on Google, don't you? you know, cost of a UK wedding, 2021, 30,000 pounds. 30,000 pounds. Have you any idea how many lights I'll have to turn off? To <laughs> So we've, we've been looking at ways that we might be able to save a few bob on the wedding. Um, wedding photographers. A grand and a half for a wedding photographer. When me and the missus got married, my mate did it for a couple of pints and a curry. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, he was a proper photographer. He was qualified and everything. But he was a scenes of crime photographer. <laughs> so he wasn't used to working with the living which came in quite handy with my wife's family. And <laughs> it came in quite handy in, in general, really, because most Scouse weddings end up being a crime scene one way or another. <laughs> but, you know, once you got over the initial shock, 
You know, with him turning up with plastic bags on his feet and a shower cap. <laughs> it was all right. But it did get a bit weird when we got to the cutting of the cake. Because he insisted on photographing the knife. <laughs> Good job.